Emily Smith has been a member of NABO for just three years, but in that short time, she's already made a substantial impact for someone who, if you can believe it, was initially intimidated and unfamiliar with networking, certification, and the Small Business Administration. Emily virtually lives and breathes the NABO mission, and her board title, Director of Membership, only describes at a minimum the value that she represents to this chapter. Not only is she responsible for every new member and every current member who has renewed, she plays a key role in every event designed to energize those members and attract new ones. Because of her passion and her leadership, NABO Chicago won the national award for the most new members brought in last year during the spring membership drive. And we'll have a round of, round of applause there. <laughs> Emily has also championed more member-focused programming, and she's reinstituted connecting events and monthly membership meetings. And on top of all of that, she runs a successful commercial real estate broker and tenant advisory firm, Chicagoland Commercial Real Estate. So it's with great pleasure that I present the award for Member of the Year to Emily Smith. Thank you so much. Uh, everyone. You know, anybody that knows me knows NABO means a great deal to me. And it's an honor, obviously, to receive this award. Um, as an independent real estate broker, I'm fortunate to be associated with a company that's as supportive as Chicagoland Commercial Real Estate. What sets our company apart, I think, is the culture of support, discipline, and camaraderie that's not seen in a lot of the larger firms. So when I came to NABO, I was not looking for a mentor. I had that in the four fine gentlemen sitting at my table today, uh, Randy, Vic, Pete, and uh, Bill. To be truthful, I really had no idea why I, I was coming to NAVO. Um, I, I simply joined because a business associate told me I had to, uh, and here I am. <sighs> when I first joined NAVO three years ago, I had no idea what procurement and certification were all about, what the SBA did. And I'm so sorry, Hetty, but I had no idea what the WBDC stood for, much less its purpose. But boy, has that changed. It's funny, I never had a problem explaining to a CEO exactly how I was going to save them 25% renegotiating their office lease. But walking into a room of 40 powerful women business owners was for some reason incredibly intimidating. That is, until I met Diana Connolly. Diana, where are you? Diana, could you please come up here? Could you please join me up here? Thank you. If you do not know Diana, I'd like you to get to know her. If you are fortunate enough to know her, you can attest to the fact that she is not only an incredibly successful business owner, but also an amazing human being. I have said many times that meeting Diana was my major benefit my first year of membership. Diana is a past Nabo Chicago president and like many of our past presidents, she's remained active in the organization, still serving on committees and in leadership well beyond her term as president, which I think it says a lot for the value of the organization itself. I stumbled upon Diana when we worked together on the Affiliates Committee during my first year of membership. For some reason, she took me under her wing and continued to follow up with me, offering advice and support whenever I needed it most. Regardless of how busy she has been, she has always, always taken my call. It was Diana who encouraged me to get even further involved in leadership. And when I was asked to serve on the board, she was my first call. Always honest, she prepared me well for what novel board service would entail, and she helped me to be successful in my approach. I appreciated her guidance through that tough decision. Again, I was not looking for a mentor, but it was absolutely amazing when one found me. Diana was still guiding me as recently as two weeks ago when she gave me her best piece of advice. Do you remember what that was? <laughs> it's no secret that I'm in a very challenging and stressful industry that can certainly wear on you some days. You can ask anybody over at table three over there. Um, but Diana put it all in perspective when she pointed out that all business owners can weigh themselves down with stress. But if it's not life or death, let it go. Just let it go. Simple words, but so profound. 
Things immediately shifted for me as soon as I heard them, and later Diana did tell me that she got that same piece of advice many years earlier from fellow NABO member and fellow past chapter president Hazel King. When I found out I was going to have to speak today, I tried to get out of it. And when I couldn't, uh, I, I said, what should I say? And they all said, get up there, smile, be yourself, and, and tell them what NABO means to you. Well, to me, NABO is Diana Conley, and so many others like her. You know, the members in this room today, the organization is filled with am amazing women business owners and some outstanding men as well. People who will support your business and want to develop a connection with you. Seek out these incredible people like Diana Conley, uh, Hazel King, Jillian Schultz, uh, Myrna Ordauer, you know, Michelle Kurlander, the list, it goes on and on. Most of all, get involved. Uh, serving NABO has greatly benefited me both personally and professionally. Because of NABO, I know I'm a better businesswoman and I promise to pay it forward. My NABO membership, I am sure of it, has been the best investment I could have made in myself. I'm certain that I would not be standing here today, Diana, if it were not for you, which is why it seems fitting for you to be by my side and share in this award. Thank you for everything you've done for me, and thank you for showing me the meaning of NABO.